Frank Raymond Fernie, Aviation Metalsmith Chief. While I was in VP-10 back in the regular Navy, I forgot about this one, we were in road to Spain and we was told by the commander that he needed a group of, of crew one to go to, to Crete over in Greece. And crew one volunteered, I was a flight engineer on that, on that crew. So we didn't know what was going on. We flew to Crete. They threw, flew us on a C-130, which was strange because we're P-3s, we're back in Rhoda. And we get to Crete, we stayed in a library on sleeping bags, like we weren't even there. And two days later, we went downtown and ate that stuff that they cut off the, the meat on the, you know, the, uh, whatever, waffle off. But anyways, we did all that stuff. Came back not knowing what's going on, and then he said, all right, guys, be ready. We're going to be up at 2 o'clock in the morning. We got a pre-flight, you know, so we get down to the airplane, and there's an airplane sitting there, solid gray, solid gray, no markings on it. And we get on it and start our pre-flight, P-3. We did the pre-flight, we got it all done, you know. It's still 3 o'clock in the morning. And he goes, okay, bring the ladder up, brings the ladder up, he gets us on board, he has his big brown envelope, and he goes, just like you see in a movie. He says, anybody want to get off this airplane, they can do it now. We went, what? And they couldn't tell us. Nobody wanted to get off, so. Pulled the ladder, we shut the door, we get in the cockpit, we take off, fly out of Crete into the med. As we're flying into the med, he takes that envelope. He didn't even know what was in it. Rips it open, pulls it out. Directions were fly into the Bay of Sidra in Africa, which is in Libya, during Gaddafi's reign where he said there was a line of death. Anybody goes across that line of death, you'll be shot down. We were going across that line of death. Okay? So, and this is just before uh, the admiral that we know, Ben Lett, just yeah. got, he just got done shooting down two of the Libyan aircraft over there a couple months before. A friend of ours shot two of them down. But anyways, we're flying across the mid, and the reason we left early is because we had to come in at an angle when the sun was coming up on our tail. So we're flying in. Now on the bottom of the airplane, we had this huge ball of cam bubble camera. That's what it was there for, you know. So we're flying in, we're coming in. We're coming down into, we could see off and it was well, dark, you know, but we could see the sun was just coming up behind us. You could see the land and way off in the distance, you know, you could see the port. We're coming in, we passed the line of death. We're flying in and the, the co pilot is sitting there with his button to trigger the cameras. Our goal was on there take pictures of this Russian sub that was in the bay because it had a special new radar system on it and it's exposed. It was up on the flight, up on the deck of the submarine. As we're flying in, the sun started to come up behind us, and we could, as we're coming in. Now, lo and behold, I had a little, I should, maybe I shouldn't be telling this on here, but I had my own camera with me, but I won't go any farther than that. But anyways, as we flew in, we're coming in, we're getting closer and closer, and I'm sitting in the seat in the middle, you know, pushing the fly levers, and getting it ready. We drop down to about 100 feet off the water. And now we're coming in. Now, they didn't know we were coming. As, we're, as we come in and started to bank, I looked, down, I looked down out of my left and I could see the sub with about 20, 30 Russians on it in blue suits, like blue jumpsuits. Doing, they're doing their morning exercises. Couldn't believe it. They're all down there going. And they went, <laughs> went as we went by, he's going, <laughs> taking pictures. And we went, <laughs> as we went by, I looked down, I saw one of those rocket launchers down there with the holes in it. It had a cover over it, a leather, some kind of cover. Went, <laughs> We went down and he, he banked that thing, stood it on end, and I came back around. We're coming back for another pass. As we came back this time, all the guys in the blue were gone, and that thing was going following us, that rocket launcher. The only reason we think they didn't shoot was because we don't think they, at that time of the morning, they had an officer. It was so quick, and they never thought this would ever happen to give them the orders to push the button. So as we flew by, he, he shot again got all the pictures, and we went, boom, took out at 100 feet. He said, Frank, hit it. I went, pushed those power levers all the way forward. I think we had a contrail of water flying up behind us. We were going so fast. We flew out of there. We went screaming out of there and up, went back to Crete and stayed up there in Crete another day. And then we flew back 
And then a month later, right, we had to go to we had to go to uh, Siganella, and uh, that's where these CNO people were and all. They wanted to review this film, so we go up there. We didn't go to that. The CO and that did. We came back. Anyways, five, six, seven, eight years later, after this happened, I'm up in Philadelphia in the maintenance control. I was passing through. And I meet the pilot that flew that mission. He knew. He said, Frank, hey, how you doing? Pretty good. He says, hey, guess what? I said, what? He said, you know them pictures we took? I said, yeah. I said, whatever happened to him? He says, oh. He says, I got a job down at the Pentagon. He says, and I'm down at the Pentagon. He says, you know, down below the Pentagon, they have these, a, a room. <laughs> he says, there's a conference room. I was down in there, you know, and I just happened to be walking around. They have all these pictures and stuff on the wall. He says, I'm walking around. And, Hoo! <laughs> There's our sub, and, and there, there was a picture of that secret radar on that sub down in the on the wall in the bottom of the Pentagon. You know, and he, we were laughing about it. You know, so. He's had an exciting life. But that was probably one of the nicest, you know, what we did.